people of the internet, it is actually Monday and I'm headed into my repeat anatomy scan. Um, I don't know if we mentioned it on the vlog. I can't remember. And my last anatomy scan, she was face down, like body perpendicular or body horizontal face down and so they couldn't see everything. So we're gonna go in, get a also gender confirmation and get the, I believe it was part of her abdomen and brain. Um, she was fairly certain about um, it being a girl, but we'll have a confirmation today, and yeah, so. Well, I'm all done, and uh, they gave me a bunch of fun information this time that they didn't have my first anatomy scan. I, it sounds to me from my last one and this one that they're moving my due date back to the original date, which is number, November 15th. I'm currently 23 weeks, four days, I think, or something like that. She was measuring good. She's one pound, of, well, you know, guess, of one pound, five ounces, which isn't always correct, but that's kind of like what their guesstimate is, and she's measuring in the 30th percentile. I'm not objecting to a little bit smaller this time. My kids are always huge. Got these cute little pictures. And here's the potty shot, confirming it's a girl. So this is her leg, and her leg. One of the only times I'll show my children's area <laughs> video. Oh, we got such a cute little picture of her face. Little face is so cute. I'm gonna head back to my other little ladies, and my husband though, um, and show them the pictures and all the like, fun stats and stuff. Um, so that was neat to get. I don't even think I ever got one of those like with the girls. So whenever I see people commenting in like the pregnancy things about um, how their kids are measuring and stuff, I was always like, what are you talking about? I don't ever see that. Oh, she's in, like on top of the uh, fabric. No wonder she's having so much trouble. <laughs> Grab, what are you doing? Get out of <laughs> We're on a family rescue mission to get Daisy out. Though not really, she could come out at any time. Grayson's just in her way. Okay, great, back up. Let her come out. Grayson's come Come on, Daisy. Daddy, look! Oh, good job. <laughs> come on, Daisy. I think he really does want to play with his car. I think he might want to play with Daisy a little more, though. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, she made it out! Ice and rice. Ice and rice. Ice and rice. What are you eating right now? Rice and meatballs. And what rhymes with rice? Ice! Good job. Rice and ice. Rice and ice. Dice and ice and rice. Ice and rice. And dice. And mm. twice. <laughs> Show me your excited Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We're in the playroom, and Rev noticed something new. What's new in the playroom, Rev? Yeah. <gasps> what is that? Ari already kind of messed it up a little, but we got this in the mail from Ikea yesterday. I ordered one of these. Um, I'm actually gonna be doing a homeschool playroom tour soon on my channel. And so that will be going up like end of August. So you guys haven't seen everything. I have some exciting things coming in the mail though that are gonna be going on the walls and everything. I'm super excited, but that's gonna be more like an in-depth kind of tour. The, the Let me play with the play show. <laughs> What's that? No. You don't know? What is that? Giraffe. Ooh, what are those? That's ears. Yeah, polar bears. What's that, Revy? A raccoon. Raccoon. Um, that's the baby. That is the baby. The baby one. The baby polar bear. What's that, Revy? Um, the baby of it. Mm -hmm. What is that called? This is the daddy one? Yep. No, this is the mommy. No, it's the daddy. Daddy. Look at his underparts. Yeah, he's got look, parts just like uh, Gray, huh? Look. Yeah, and then they uh, died too. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, look. Well, it is a couple hours later. The girls got up from naps. They're cranky, but <laughs> um, I was able to get a video filmed and edited, um, and it's pretty much almost all done. Uh, that'll be going up tomorrow, so when you guys see this, it should already be up, actually. It's my newborn must-haves. Um, video so that is up on my channel. I got Aerie to get dressed. Rev really wanted to wear her PJs, huh? <gasps> and yes, it's raining out and they are admiring no, the rain. Take 
I got home from work. We had some dinner. Did you tell them what we had for dinner? What we were having for dinner? Well, Ariana got like this Udi's mac and cheese casserole, right? Udi's mac and cheese casserole, I think is what it was. So gluten free, and it was real good. Well, it is Thursday, guys, and we've just kind of been all over the place the last couple days. Um, I had lots of appointments the last few days, so it's just been kind of crazy. Um, I haven't actually talked about, I had another ultrasound um, for an echo, a fetal echo, so it's basically where they look like closer at baby's heart. Um, if you guys have been following us since I was pregnant with Ari, at least, um, I had the same thing done with her. It's just because um, of EDS, there's very commonly heart issues along with it and then also because I had a hole in my hair when I was younger which is normal a lot of babies have it um, I guess it actually typically closes within like a couple days to a week but mine didn't close until I was five years old so they just like to check my kids and make sure that they don't have that as well um, everything was good though she said baby did have that hole in her heart which is normal like I said um, but they just keep an eye on it you know if they hear like a heart murmur a couple weeks later or whatever then I'll go back to her and baby will see her. But what's interesting about seeing this doctor is in past, I've just gone to like the high risk doctors for fetal echoes. But this time I actually saw the actual cardiologist that if my child did have heart issues, she's the cardiologist that she is like the pediatric cardiologist that my daughter would see. So that was actually kind of interesting. But yeah, she did really good. Um, like I said, they moved my or they moved my due date up at my repeat anatomy scan to the 15th. It's just interesting though because she's measuring back at that original date, but she's only in the 30th percentile for height or for weight. They go off all of these like measurements that they take of the bones and the different things and that's when they decided to like move her up. But weight wise, she was only in the 30th percentile. But the weight guesses on ultrasounds are so totally off, so you never really know. Also, I didn't even tell you guys that at my fetal echo, she had flipped head down, so that's great. Um, they don't really worry about positioning yet at this point. Um, however, I've never had to even worry about having like a breech baby or a transverse baby or whatever, because um, at my repeat anatomy, I guess they wrote it, even though she was in that same position like this, I don't think they wrote it as breach, so that was kind of confusing. At the fetal echo, she was in the correct placement, so that was nice to know. She can still flip back technically, you know, for a few more weeks here or whatever, but um, I never even had to think about like what would happen if they don't flip over, because um, both my girls, from the time of like my anatomy scan, they were already head down and never moved. So yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an additional little update on how she is doing. I know a lot of people are asking when we're gonna do a name reveal. I think we've finally committed to a name. Um, I just don't know when that reveal will be. I have a lot of like videos coming up that I have to do, um, like sponsorships and stuff between this channel and, our, and my channel. So there's just a lot going on right now. Um, but as soon as I come up with an idea, really is what it is, um, I will be posting that because we want to share her name with you guys, but we actually haven't decided on a middle name yet So we technically really aren't there yet <laughs> But I, I like I'm so out of creative juices this pregnancy. I feel like with Rev and Aerie I had all the creative juices and They're just gone this time. I don't know if it's just the you know about to be third time mom. My brain's exhausted um I'm just so out of ideas, <laughs> so I gotta come up with something fun. Um, but we will share it with you guys as soon as we like know her full entire name and I come up with some kind of idea. We're not purposefully hiding it from you. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Like I said, there is that video up on my channel which talks about newborn must-haves. I'm gonna end it there. I know that the last part was rambly, but I just wanted to update you guys, let you know how she's doing. If you hear that, there's somebody's like drilling the street. I don't. <laughs> Oh boy, Aries dumping water out of the water. <laughs> and as always, we'll see your wonderful faces on Saturday. Bye.